video call with my friend Grace. Let me see if I can get her on here. Grace, are you there? Hey, Callie. Hey, whoa, super cool remote control. What's it for? It's for my super cool, super fast, super robotic remote control car. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Look, I can steer with it and make it go fast. And I can make it go left. And make it go right. And spin around it. Grace, wait, 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 wait. Uh, where is the car? Well, I wrecked it yesterday. And I'm not sure if my parents is going to let me play with it again. No. Have you asked? No, I don't know, Callie. I really don't think they're going to let me. Grace. Just because you wrecked it in the past doesn't mean that you can't try again. You can try again, Grace. And the next time you'll be more careful when you're driving it fast and left and right. Well, I guess I could ask. Yeah, go ask while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. And it comes from the book of John, Chapter four, Jesus was tired from a long journey. So he sat down by the well to rest. A woman came up who was going to get water out of the well. She was a Samaritan. Jesus was a Jew. Samaritans and Jews normally didn't get along too well, but Jesus asked her for some water. She was shocked. She reminded Jesus who she was, a Samaritan. Jesus told her that if she knew who he really was, then she would ask him for water instead. And Jesus would give her something much better. He would give her the gift from God, which was life that never ends. The woman was confused. She tried to change the subject, but Jesus told her again in a different way. The gift he would give her would be better than anything else. A single drink of water helps us when we're thirsty, but only for a little while. What he had to offer would take care of her thirst for good. Imagine never being thirsty again. The woman had come to the well to get water every day, so the gift sounded great, but Jesus wasn't talking about real water. Once again, Jesus wanted her to know about life with God, which lasts forever. She asked for it, and Jesus told her to go back and get her husband. She told Jesus she didn't have a husband, but Jesus already knew. He knew everything about her, every good and bad thing she's ever done. But he still offered her God's gift of life that never ends. The woman went back to her village and told everyone about Jesus and the exciting news that our past doesn't change God's love for us. That story was awesome! God always loves us and nothing in our past, the things we've done, or anything else will ever change that. See, Grace? Just because you wrecked your remote control car in the past doesn't mean you can't try again. Two steps ahead of you, Kali. Ta-da! I'm back in the racing business. I asked my dad, and he said yes, as long as I'm super careful. Awesome! Can we see? I'm going to do better than that, Kali. I'm going to put the camera on the car so you all could go for a ride. Let's go! Thanks, Callie. Speaking of control, thanks for reminding me that our past doesn't have control over us. And our past doesn't change God's love for us. No problem, Grace. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Time for our theme song.
remember. Our past doesn't change God's love for us.